Heads up, if your Saturday morning plans take you across the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge, it will shut down to traffic at 9 a.m. to make way for a symbolic march. Men, specifically black men, are invited to recreate a historic civil rights march. Maria Guerrero has the story. Come Saturday, the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge will help symbolize a path forward for black men in Dallas. We're protesting our own condition. This small but impassioned group of leaders extending an invitation to black men of all ages. March across the bridge as part of a new movement called the State of the Black Man. Well, now is the time for us to take control of our own destiny, hold our own selves accountable. Reenacting the civil rights march from Selma to Montgomery, taking an honest look at issues facing black men today, from poverty and incarceration to mental health and housing disparities. We have sat and watched us lead in all negative categories of quality of life. They call it a self-assessment, finding solutions within their own. It's our time to show people how to own homes, how to invest, how to have their businesses. Who's going to be willing to say that we can put our own resources together, that we can build our own grocery stores? that we could buy our own land and build our own homes, that we can build our own schools, our own medical facilities, and stop looking for the handouts because we are black men. We also partner up with regional black contractors, uh, the Black Chamber of Commerce. City Council member Carolyn King Arnold points to partnerships with local groups and faith leaders to help underserved communities. While we have these partnerships, Ultimately, it comes back to that individual person. I think it's great that we have men that are willing to keep going. Women and children will be asked to wait at the end of the bridge. Symbolically, that's what's happening anyway. The women and children are waiting on the black men of this world to unite and be the force of change that we know we are. They hope for crowds of 500, knowing there's power in even one. Well, even if it's just the four of us there, we're going to keep the baton going. In Dallas, Maria Guerrero, NBC5.